Hey, let's make it pop. It's Matthew Reinhardt here, and today we're gonna make a really cool pop-up peacock card. Look at that, oh, so cool. All right, first you're gonna need to download the templates um, online. You can click the link below, and you're gonna print it onto two pieces of cardstock and one piece of regular paper, okay? So the first two pages you'll print onto cardstock whatever color you want. And it says on each page what you uh, need to print it onto, whether it's cardstock or regular paper. And the third page you're going to print onto regular printer paper. The next thing you need is a, a large paper clip and a ruler to score all the dotted lines. So anytime you see a black dotted line on all the pieces, you're going to use your ruler and you're going to line it up on that dotted line and you're going to kind of press with your uh, paperclip onto the dotted line and score. That's going to help the pop-up pieces fold better. And there's lots of dotted lines on the regular piece of paper on that piece. So just do it very carefully. You know, take your time. Maybe listen to some music. Oh, by the way, um, that's Kirsten. She's helping me out. Um, she's the hands while I'm the voice. I think the next thing you're going to do is cut out all those pop-up pieces and you know where to cut because wherever you see a black solid line, that's where you're gonna cut. Now sometimes these pieces are on really big pieces of paper, so um, it doesn't hurt to cut out the pieces separately and then really very carefully cut out those black lines um, for each one of the pop-up pieces. You can see um, Kirsten actually moves the piece of paper and keeps her scissors kind of in the same position. And that helps you make those curves really, get all those curves and all those little corners when cutting out all the pieces for this pop-up. This piece here actually has a slot on the inside. How are we gonna get in there with our scissors? I don't know. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll just poke. This is what, this is what Kirsten always does. She pokes right through, look what. She uses the, the, a pencil that's sharp. She just kind of pokes a little hole. And see, once she's got that little hole there, she can get her scissors through. Oh, she used some thin scissors. Now, if you only have one pair of scissors, just make a bigger poke hole with a pencil. She's very good at cutting out all of those little slots. And we're going to need this later on when we're making our pop-up. Now you're going to carefully cut out this base page. Just follow along the black solid lines, like so. And then we're going to cut out this piece of regular paper, all the pieces that are on here. Look at that. There's, it's, it's sort of a long folded piece. We're just going to carefully cut out those edges, just like this. Take your time. You want it to look good. You want your, your pop-up peacock to look fabulous. Now what we're going to do is pre-fold all of the pieces that we've already cut out. Okay, so there's the base page. Just fold it down the center. Make sure that folds right. This piece here, we're going to fold these pieces kind of in this direction. And when you've scored the lines with your paper clip, it makes it so much easier to fold all these pieces. That's what scoring really helps when we're making pop-ups. That's why we do it early on, before we cut out the pieces. So we'll fold that piece just like that. Now we need to fold the uh, regular paper pieces. Now this is going to get folded kind of like a fan. You've ever made a paper fan before? I do it all the time. In fact, it's a little warm today. I think I might need one. Um, uh, phew, uh, phew. Well, now you're going to fold it going up and then down and then up and then down, just like here. So see, it's going to be kind of accordion folded. That's what they call it, an accordion fold. Now next up, we're actually going to get, get uh, to decorate some things. Let's start decorating these pops. Um, sometimes we, we like to decorate our pops after it's done, but this time we have to decorate it first. So you can use whatever you want. You can use markers, you can use uh, crayons, you can use uh, colored pencils. You could even add things to it like um, you could add sequins or whatever else you'd like to on there. You could, I bet you you could even use feathers if you wanted, little ones at least. So we're going to color it in. Add some little details. Now we're going to decorate the tail. You know, because you can add some little, uh, you could draw some things onto the, the, the fan-like fail seat because they kind of have those little eyeballs that are those, those kind of designs on, on their tails. Let's add, let's use some regular glue. 
It's just like regular Elmer's glue, regular, regular crack fruit. Let's glue this large piece on. And see, see these tab shapes, see these gray shapes on the base page? You can just glue them directly on um, in place. So let's try that. But what we're going to do is, before I just squirt a bunch of glue, I like to make sure that the glue is, is just kind of painted on. See how it's just within that shape, that shape right there. And we just, just lightly... Um, press it in there and instead of like adding a big glob of glue because we don't want glue everywhere. We just want it to be underneath where the tabs go. So let's put down this one right here on the left side just like that. Next we're going to add this piece and you can see the area right here on this pop-up piece it says glue here so we're going to paint it into place. Remember again don't use too much glue. Get it just right in place and we're going to thread, you see that slot there? We're going to thread the beak through that hole, just like that. See how that goes? Perfect, just in place, and it goes right on top. You can see the, fa the shape of the piece actually lines up exactly with the one that goes on top of it. You're just gonna press it into place, make sure it glues down. See how that works? And see how those pieces kind of cross over and, and how the beak fits right through? Perfect. So that's the body of our peacock. So that part of the pop-up works, but what about the tail? Let's get working on the tail. Next, we're gonna um, add the two um, tail pieces, but first we have to attach them together because they're supposed to be a really long fan-like tail. So we're gonna attach one end to another end using the glue, and we're just gonna tape them, excuse me, we're just going to glue them. I'm so used to using tape, everybody, that I say tape all the time. But we're going to glue them together just like so. I like using glue and tape, but sometimes tape gets on my mind because I'm crazy. So I'm going to glue these two together just like that. So it's going to be an extra long fanned tailpiece just like that. And what we're going to do is we're then going to fold it up kind of like a fan. And we're going to attach it. See how, I'm, see how she's holding it just on that end, we're going to attach it on one side, just like that. We're going to put glue on both those sides. See where it says glue left side, glue right side? So let's just add some glue in place. Just like this. And be very careful that it's only within the space of the gray um, markings. And see, just press it down into place on one side just like that and let it dry for a few minutes now it's going to want to fall all over the place see just like that we don't want it to it's not going to stay like that we're going to actually glue it to the opposite side and i think what we're going to do is we're going to add some glue to the top just like that paint it on there really carefully and then we're going to flatten the pop-up and we're going to keep that tail accordion um, pressed down and flat. and We're going to press it right into place and it should glue right to the opposite side where the gray area says glue other side here. And look at that! Now make sure that it's glued just right. See it was a little off so we're going to make sure it finds its place. Yeah that's right just like that. Sometimes you can pull it up just a little before it dries. Perfect. So now look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at that card. Make sure you let your glue um, and the tabs glue all the way. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now let's decorate the rest of the card because we can finish now. We can do the rest with some crayons or markers or anything we got around. It's, that would be great. Oh, let's decorate this card. What a cool thing to send somebody. So there you go. She decorated the outside. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then, oh my gosh, Papa Baby Peacock. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. So I hope you've enjoyed this DIY pop-up peacock. Um, and it is Matthew Reinhardt here. This is Let's Make It Pop. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. And for more pop-ups, you can always come back to this channel. There's always something new every week. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.